Minted. The hell was that? Why are we playing this trash? This is your guys' fault, and if I flush this game, and I probably will, it's on you guys. And then we're just gonna play res from now on if it happens. You guys are clowns for recommending this game. Anyways, people are watching this on YouTube. I did not want to play this, but the chat harassed me for days trying to play this game, so... I don't even know what it started this. Was it Qua? And why is Mario so useless? This is the second game. What the hell is this? Hmm. Wait, where's the rainbow? This looks like a Lone in the Dark remake. Why would they put the tombstones in their front yard? Anyways. This is the second game where Luigi is the main character. The first one was Mario is Missing, where Luigi literally had to travel around the world to get this clown. And now he's back because, I don't know, Mario's been hitting the bottle again, and he ended up in some kind of mansion. And apparently this game is spooky. That's like the story so far. Oh. Wait, GameCube's got stereo sound? Interesting. So, once again, we're not playing on RetroArch, so I don't really know how to operate this right. But I did bump up the resolution so I could pretend I'm not playing the GameCube. So, if there's any graphical glitches, I mean, it is what it is. And, uh, the resolution for a GameCube is different for, like, every single game. So I had to like manually adjust adjust it and crop some stuff. So hopefully it looks intact. But we'll try to get it as, to, as close to 4x3 as we can. I don't know anything about this game. And honestly, I don't really want to know anything about this game. But you guys said it's short, so let's see. I don't get it. What's the story? Is that the small house or the one with the rainbow? Luigi just so happens to have fl a flashlight on him. That's convenient. Where's his car? How did Mario get here? Don't these guys have cell phones? And Mario's got a drinking problem. Hey. Why doesn't Luigi knock on the door? Why is he just breaking into this house with a flashlight? Oh my mm -hmm. god. Look at this game. Oh. Oh. I'd rather play Metroid. Cheeks. Alright, what are the controls? <laughs> Look at Luigi walks! Look at him walk! Oh my god. What are the buttons? I can turn this off. Why is Luigi's nose shaking? Okay, none of the buttons do anything. Mario. 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 Okay, guys, let's flush this. Guys, let's flush this. I think I've already seen enough. I think this is as far as we go. The faster I find Mario, the faster I can get the hell out of here. What's that? Wow, there's a lot of dust in this house. Mario. Mario. Can I leave? Mario. I wish there was a thunderstorm going on right now. Cutscene. Do you guys see that? That cutscene was in 60 FPS. Huh. 
How's this house even function if every door is locked? I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Just learn the match, huh? What the hell was that? Honestly, this this is a console for kids. So how hard could this possibly be? That hurt me? Jason Mario Someone gave me a key Open the door you wuss hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That vacuum seems super powerful. I need that vacuum. It attaches to your back, too. Hey, he talks. Does Luigi talk? <laughs> Professor E God? Oh, no. <laughs> And you guys sure the volume is good? I don't need to boost it. Damn ghosts. Does Luigi talk? Oh, he's a Ghostbuster. You won this mansion in a contest? What? Yeah, it sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> uh, technically it's not a Mario game, it's a Luigi game. Did he smell like alcohol? Yo Kev, thanks for the 36, man. Yeah. He's gonna give me a gun? Oh my god, all the controls. R. Which buttons are right trigger? Z is inventory. Y. Oh god! Look at all these buttons. <clears throat> the C button. <laughs> Shoot out fire, water, or ice. Oh, we'll use standard. Oh, it's like a training room. It's a banger. It's a banger. <clears throat> the Pulcher Gust 3000. Wow, I need this for my home. What do I use? What's which one? R? Oh. They can't be caught using conventional means. 
Okay. What is this? Is this DMCA? Okay, flashlight vacuum. Tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Oh no, it's like fishing. Okay. As soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. The control stick in the opposite direction. Did I do it? Ghost aim skill. He keeps timing the same thing as close as you can. How fast you gotta do it? Oh, there we go. Eat light. How many did I get? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought I got them all. Yo, DK, thanks for the 300 bits. Oh my god, dude. Isn't this game too scary for kids? And why is Luigi trusting this guy? This guy looks super sus. Game Boy Horror? What? I don't get it. This is like the collection room? Why does Luigi run like this? Who runs like this, guys? No, you don't, guys. Stop lying. Nobody runs like this. Wow, this guy's loaded! Let's grab his stuff and go. I'm sure Mario will find his way home. Huh? What the hell is Game Boy Horror? Guys, what's going on? What the hell is this? What is this game? Kino? Uh, yeah. What's a yeah? What's a Game Boy Horror? Okay. Uh huh. Oh my God. And why is Triangle, but Square on an Xbox controller? Oh man. Uh, where am I? He turns ghosts into paintings. This guy's a monster. Bulosis? King Boo. What does this have to do with Mario? What the hell is going on? Luigi, 
Uh, let's go back to the lab. Uh, go to the mansion. Alright, let's kill some ghosts. Guys, maybe this game would have been cool if I was like, you know, four years old. What the hell is Toad doing here? Peach sent you? Why didn't she go come here for herself? Once we get Mario, we can send him back to rehab. Alright, so what do I do? Where's my flashlight? My flashlight's gone. So towards the save point. Mario. Mario. Hey, coins. This door's still locked. Mario. Hey, more coins. Can you jump in this game? How do I get this coin? Or do I use the vacuum cleaner? Oh my god. Just like real life. Mario. Whoa. <gasps> Monopoly money. Wow, we're looting this place clean. Uh oh. Uh oh, the paintings are threatening me. They give some health too. What the hell? You hit my cheeks. Oh, I just sucked up that uh that sheet. Oh, you clear the room and you unlock something like DMC. Why is that key almost bigger than Luigi? Holy shit, look at this map. They need this map in Metroid. Wow, the shelf was full of coins. You know, if I'm gonna always have to save Mario all the time, I might as well make it worth my while, you know? We're gonna ransack this house clean. Hmm. Was that really necessary? Hmm. What the hell? 
Why is Luigi looking up? Oh, this ghost is huge. Damn, if whoever opens up this uh, vacuum bag is gonna get haunted for the rest of their life. One realistic thing is ghosts don't make, don't take up too much space. Is, is Luigi humming? Back to full health. I don't think kids should be playing a game that teaches you to steal. Oh, you can aim the vacuum up and down. What's that? What? Why am I so tiny? I don't get it. Oh, by the way, do you guys want to know how godlike the Street Fighter V matchmaking is? So, Willy today was like 200 points from Diamond Rank. He only need to beat one more person for Diamond Rank, right? So I thought it'd be hilarious if Willy's last match was against me. So I tried to fucking snipe him, right? And I was sitting in training mode looking for matches, and Willy was looking for matches for like over five minutes, and it didn't let it didn't even find him. Who the hell is that? Forty? How am I supposed to defeat this guy? Stay still, asshole. He drops bananas. Oh, he maintains his health that he had left. Take that. Luigi's gonna have a heart attack by the end of this game. What? He like pushes you into it. Got him. So yeah, I was trying to snipe Willy, and he really, really couldn't find any matches, I couldn't find any matches, and Street Fighter Fly was like, huh, there's no one to play, no one's playing in North America right now. I guess there's these two guys that are like, you know, six feet away from each other, but no, the connection probably won't be good. Hey, we found another giant key. Why does it go to the map automatically after it gives me a key? I mean, I can do that myself. Hey, it's like a funhouse mirror. Can I suck this door out of its hinges? 
Hey, what the hell? It's Toad and he's crying. Get out of here, Toad, if you're such a wuss. Is this game sick? Uh, maybe from my nephew. Hmm. Mario. Mario. Hmm. Mario. The game was trying to protect Willy. They knew of your devious plan. Mario. Yeah, maybe. Mario. By the way, you guys want to hear something really random? Hmm. So there was this like annoying house fly in my room today and I was like flying around desperately trying to escape and I couldn't figure out a way to get out. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna kill this damn thing. And then the fly went on the floor and then I like was checking something on my computer and I look back at it to, to, to take care of it. And the fly is upside down and it's dead. Is that normal? He's either dead or he's sleeping, but I don't think flies sleep upside down, so it's lying on its back. It's just sitting there on the floor. I don't know. It's dead. That's normal. Flies don't usually go on the floor. They usually sleep on the walls or the roof. How long do, do flies live? For? Toxic environment. Maybe it, it used up so much energy trying to figure out how to escape, it just like... That's it. It's normal? Okay. Ah, what the hell? Damn ghosts. What's Toad doing? Why is he so happy? Money! After we get Mario, I'm retiring. Okay, let's look at our Game Boy Horror and find out where the hell we're supposed to go. Uh, which one's the map? So, the door on my left. Mario! Search it's hard for clues? Which one's the X button? Oh, this is the X button. Oh, God. Which is B? No, that's A. A is cross. Which is also A on Xbox. X is circle. Which is B. Can I go on these other doors? I can. Holy cow! How's this chair moving? There's no one on it. What the hell? Holy shit! Who's that? Did you guys see that? I see his heart. Uh oh. Yeah. That's mirror. <laughs> 
I see his heart. How do I kill this guy? these things what the hell wait that was the door that had the coins leading up to it oh my god ghost mice Oh my god, how do I know if the door is real or not? Okay, so we have to figure out a way to capture this guy. He's the only one left. It can't be that hard, this game's made for children. around for clues there's a book of riddles I love riddles mysterious appear wherever people turn mysteries appear wherever people turn but turn away from themselves nothing instead of turning away turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view a way will surely open. That's not a fucking riddle. That's an instruction manual. Okay, look to the side. Can't wait to grab this damn ghost. Any other books in here? Darkness? Is there cheese? What? Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. Okay. Man, a lot of hints in this game. Elemental ghosts. Oh no. Oh no. I had to expose his heart. Child care diary. Mm -hmm. There's one more book I didn't read. Not the book of riddles. Uh, this one. Baby Care Diary. Okay, this asshole. I like kill this guy. Damn it. Wait, what did Luigi say? Can I move all in this thing? No, I can't. Mm. 
His heart's right here. Nuke him, Luigi. Uh. It said, look at him from the side. Oh, I gotta like. It doesn't really matter for if I have my flashlight on or off. I have to like spook this guy with the flashlight. Who's humming that song? Is that the ghost? You can examine other objects? Oh, you can! What the hell? Oh my god, it's a survival horror game! At least Luigi's talking. The white glove test? Oh my god, you can search everything, guys. Luigi only likes hats with the letter L on it. Hey, where did this guy come from? What's this? Oh, is it blowing? Oh, there's there's a blow and a suck. Okay. Where did that ghost go? Oops. Oh yeah. Okay, let's read that riddle again. This can't be hard. A little kid is supposed to be able to figure this out. It said turn to the side. And look around. I see his heart right there. Why can't I spook him? And this guy's taunting me too. Is there any other hints? Where are my other buttons? I got the item button. Mario. Calling Mario. Turn the flashlight on and off. Which doesn't seem to be doing anything. Didn't I get his heart last time? I go right up to him? No, I didn't. Uh... Wait, how did I get him? Oh! How did I get him? Because he was he was yawning? Where'd he go? <laughs> That's it? But the riddle doesn't make any sense. 
What are these things flying out of him? Read it again? Yeah, I'll read it again. Just give me a second. What are these pearls? When yawning, you close your eyes? I don't close my eyes. Got him! We got Mir! Mir goes down. Mario! Mario! Oh, yeah. Okay, the door at the end of the hall. Okay, let's read that riddle again. Mysteries appear wherever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. That doesn't make any sense, guys. That riddle doesn't make any sense. That's a different puzzle? No. Mm -hmm. Alright, our adventure continues. Uh, yeah, I said a big one just now. You missed it. It didn't make any sense. It didn't take 20 minutes, it was more like 17. Oh, I got the sheets. Oh, this vacuum would be really handy. Got these curtains. Whoa, who's that? Do I just wait for her to do something? She's combing her hair. <laughs> hey, is that Toad? Is that Luigi humming the song? I don't- who the fuck is that humming? The draft! She's distracted with the curtains! Wait, where did she go? What the hell? What is going on? Am I pointing the light at her properly? Oh, got her, there we go. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's a mushroom. Why didn't Luigi just use his hands? When uh when she pushes you and you and you trip over like just a little bit, you lose some of your health too. Got it. No more combing your hair for you. This game is pretty hard for kids. A kid wouldn't be able to figure that out. Master bedroom. Oh, this door down here. Oh yeah. All right. Who said it was a kid's game? Hmm. Pretty scary for a kid's game. So what do you guys think of, uh, did you guys see the... the opening intro for Kimberly and Jerry today? Catcom just posted it like an hour ago. Did you guys like it? It was Kino? I I know it was only like 13 seconds long, but that is honestly the newest footage we have of the game so far. Did you guys notice in any different any difference at all in the graphics? We only get to see the intro and then walking. But that is like one of the newer builds of the game, apparently. Kind of funny that's like the newest footage we have. Yeah, maybe we can see if that Jerry pout if uh if it looks good as an emo because the Chun-Li one was tough to do. Would you open the damn door, you wuss? Oh, I need health. Badly. Oh wow, full health. This place is so dusty. Time to make another breakdown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Should do 30 breakdown videos. On Whoa! It's a ghost baby. A ghost baby. Another cool thing about that that Jerry Kimberly video is that during the intro when they're walking, it shows the new intro for that stage. Right? That's the first time we've seen it. I can launch this damn thing. I'm trying to hit the bear. There's the blow thing, but we haven't it hasn't shown us what this is for yet. Oh yeah, we get a hint, right? Do we have to scan the heart to get the hint?
Horsey, Rocky Horsey. <laughs> Horsey. What? No! No! Holy shit! This place is haunted! Ghost baby from hell! He's not scared of light! Oh, the ball! The ball! Chew on this! You gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? Is this kid a stride player? What's going on now? Where am I? Oh man, kids shouldn't play this game. Oh shit. What the hell was Miyamoto smoking when he made this game? Where's where's my damn flashlight? Take this! Oh, He's too powerful. Oh no! I wish I can play as Raiden in this game, it'd be so much easier. Fight it, Luigi! What? You broke the stream. Uh oh, phase three. There's a ball. I need a ball. Yeah. See you in hell, demon child. this for I'm noticing this guy doesn't do anything 
そう、ペイペイ、ツー、テクルハ。ゲイル、エジプト、ウィン、ソイト、ウィン、ソイト、ウィン、I'm oh, I'm f the, the ghosts do take up space. Hmm. Heading back to base. So, is it always nighttime in this game? Why not go here during the day? Uh, the ghost portrificationizer. Portrificationizer. Okay. Is this how we're gonna incinerate the ghosts? Why does Luigi look so happy? <laughs> What? Holy shit, Luigi's just carved out of wood. Oh my god, man, we turned that kid into a pain. Oh my god, then what is he gonna do? He's gonna post the ghost on Instagram? <laughs> We've caught area one. Hey, there's Mir. Wow, we're rich! <laughs> the picture of Luigi looks so angry. Luigi. Is it always like a lightning storm? Why isn't he helping me? Why isn't Luigi gra- like, he has so much money, why doesn't he buy those crazy high-powered lights? Like, the ones that melt your skin, they're so bright. And what's Toad still doing here? Did we leave him here all night? Uh. Oh, we can go through this main door now. I think. Whoa. Ghosts don't come out in nice weather. Oh, God. Here we go again. <laughs> Ghost bats. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell are those guys? Oh my god, these fake doors, dude. What the hell were they thinking? Can I examine the vase? I'll eat my hat. Oops! 
Hey, I got him! Aim like really high up. Those were super annoying. When did the GameCube come out? Was it during the PlayStation 2? This is when Nintendo definitely lost their marbles. I think this was the point of no return. Yeah, I know this game was a launch title for GameCube. I shouldn't talk too much shit about the GameCube because... Wow, look how many coins! This guy was loaded! What's that? Some blue sapphire. Because GameCube actually did have a lot of of really good games. Capcom made the terrible choice to like make a bunch of exclusives for it. I think this was when like people didn't realize just yet that Nintendo was done for good, you know? It wasn't until the Wii. That's when everyone realized, and that's when it was time to jet, to cash out your chips. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The N64 was like the hint, and then it was like one last try at the GameCube. I mean the Wii U. The, the, I mean that's obvious because the console literally failed. But but with the with the Nintendo Wii, a lot of third-party games died on that console. It was just Nintendo games that were doing well, you know. And Capcom must have had a really long relationship with them because they still released Tatsunoko versus Capcom on the Wii. They even made their own sticks. But the Wii, like I said, it was it was like a gift and a curse for Nintendo. Because the Wii was like the first time when like it became so mainstream. Like for people that don't play video games, everyone knows the Wii. You know, you see the remember how many times you've seen the Wii in movies and stuff of someone playing bowling or golf on it? You see it everywhere. Because when you have games that, they're games, but they're just like, I don't know what the word would be, but they're real life things, you know? Like everyone understands bowling, everyone understands, uh, you know, golf or whatever, right? The Wii Sports was like a huge deal because you can easily teach, you know, your mother or something to play because everyone knows those 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 activities right and you just have the controller and you just explain to them how to swing or throw the ball and boom and then you had the Wii Fit right because like if you had someone who doesn't play video games sit down and try to play this game you know they don't know what the hell's going I don't even know what the hell's going on you know? Oh my god, this is straight from- this is straight from Clock Tower. Get off of me, asshole!
Uh oh. Try moving the control stick back and forth to shake them off. <gasps> Creepy bathtub. Hey, there's a key up here. Where's that? Uh. Okay, yeah, we gotta backtrack. It's a very specific door it wants me to go to. You notice? When the room is lit up, Luigi's like whistling and he's happy. He's whistling the song. Because it's, it's letting you know he's safe. But then when he goes into a room that's not fully explored, he's trying to calm himself down by by humming the theme. See, so listen. He's like me when I was like waiting for Street Fighter 6 to reveal if it was already injured. <laughs> Professor, you try to hum and I want to see it. I can't hum. I can only complain. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, these bats respawn? This game reminds me of my old house because it was so dusty. It drove me crazy. The blue ghosts are, are rare? Uh -huh. <gasps> Who's this? What the hell is going on here? Oh, you can steal their masks. And then they're exposed. Oh, piece of shit. Why doesn't Luigi just like come equipped with a machine gun and just blast these guys? Why didn't they make a beam like Ghostbusters? Man, you have to be really fast at grabbing them once you expose them. They went and grabbed new masks. 
Oh, you can get two at once. Look at this high level, guys. That was a high level vacuum. Why is this floor moving? So you can see me while they that may be, but you'll never find my weakness. Oh yeah? with the chandelier. But they bounce between the two things. Check the other heart. Oh, what's this? A pretty penny. What? Oh, did I examine the chair by accident? Oh my god. It's so weird guys because the controls uh they go inverted whenever I when I use this uh camera. I don't think this gen can even see us. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, what? So you just grab the guy? Weird. That's weird. What do you mean brute forced? What are you guys talking about? Get the pearls? What pearls? I don't even know what I need money for in this game. I'm so rich already. I got over a million dollars. Luigi's retiring after this. Dude, Luigi needs to learn how to run, dude. Like, what is this? Who runs like this? I mean, take some large steps. Oh, yeah. You still haven't used like the blow part of the vacuum yet. Oh, that's that rare ghost. You can't escape. What the hell? You literally have a microsecond. You gotta, you gotta flash some coin blink with the high beams. That's why I keep screwing up. 
Hey, the power's back. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, look! There's a reflection showing that there's a button over here. How's a little kid supposed to figure that out? Did you guys notice that? Yeah. What does it say? Door. I can't see what it says. Don't push? How can you even read that? Should be even smaller on Twitch. I can't even read that. Hmm. Point the camera to it? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Genius. It did say don't push. Okay, so now we have to know to use the camera to to look around. So Nintendo was like, hey, there's no way we can make the camera work in this game. So let's just give them a first person mode. And then we don't we can give them fixed camera angles. Whoa! Guys, there's another button here. Do you guys see that? Hmm. I can't believe this is a puzzle game. Hey, actual ghost! It's Luigi, guys. Uh-oh. They know. They know Luigi's badass. Those fiends. Was King Boo the one with the crown? I know that's a stupid question, but I thought King Boo was supposed to be really big. I'm serious. I thought <laughs> I thought he's supposed to be super jumbo boo, but I saw a little one with a crown on his head. What an asshole! No. Oh no. No, he was intoxicated. It does? The Boo Radar. Oh no, it's turning into Metroid 2. Uh oh. Uh, how do I spend my money? Hey, there's the first painting. Hmm. Oh, it's a score. The money is score. Well, that sucks. I want to spend the money. I want a progression system or loot boxes or something. Hmm. So this game's like a huge like collectathon.
Why did Nintendo think it was a good idea to make a spooky mystery puzzle game starring Luigi with a vacuum cleaner instead of just making a Mario game? Thanks, Toad. Okay. Search the map. Do we have a boo radar here? Nope. Guess let's just look around. I see a light thing on the bottom left. Going to the creepy basement of the mansion. Here's that switch. Damn, they're everywhere. Mario going missing in a haunted house was a good trope. Oh, dude, Mario is missing, man. You play that game with me, right, Claw? I know Mira was playing it, too. And I remember I complained a lot. Oh, wait! The thing's going yellow, guys. like hot and cold. We're going back where we started. It just turned red for a second, you guys see that? It's blinking. There he is! Wait, what? I don't get it. in the boxes. There he is. Game Boo. Where the hell did he go? And what's the point of this ball? He went into the wall. I gotta find him. What's the point of this? He went to Wendy's. Huh. Maybe it stuns the boo? I don't know. Hey, there he is. Oh, it's the opposite. I have to ch I I have to chase him while I'm sucking him. Like, they're a lot stronger, they can get away from you. Mm -hmm. Well, this game is like our old house, you just dust and clean everything up. Ooh la la! Ooh la la! You have to like aim up and down too when they're flying around so you can absorb them. You're cruising, Luigi. 
okay. Well, I save every time I catch one. I gotta catch 50 of these guys. 50 ghosts. Mario. <laughs> Mario. Where are you, Mario? So I can flush this game. Mario! <laughs> I think if you get all the cash bars, you get a secret ending. That's where the power of YouTube comes in. Who's carrying this candle? Hey, who's that? Who's that guy? Who's this guy? Man, we're getting low on health here. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, there's like 50 of them. some health. Oh, there we go. We were just here. Wow. So many locked doors. Ow. Damn it. I want to get that guy. He's dropping those bombs at me, it's annoying. There we go. As a jerk. Oh, we already went down here, there was nothing. So I'm assuming these, like, 50 ghosts sounds like so much, guys. That must be, like, the whole game. <laughs> this is, like, the ultimate objective. Alright, so I should just focus on exploring the rest of the mansion. At least it tells me which doors are unlocked okay let's go to the top floor now because i think we explored well what's the oh the blue room means that uh the room is is, is lit it's literally metroid 2 guys what i thought i, I killed that guy what the hell?
Okay, let's go through mm -hmm. here. Oh, beeping. It was in the shelf. Bamboo. Damn, did you see Luigi fling that vacuum around like it was a sword? Holy cow. So why doesn't Luigi have a vacuum weapon in his future games? Does he have the vacuum in Smash Brothers? He does? Oh god. Bootha. Did he escape? Oh my god, I lost him! Damn it! He was one shot too. Hmm. Game Boo Advance. Weird saving the game after every single boo. What are you on, Toad? There was no auto saves in 2001, are you sure? In the shelf again? Oh, it's Bootha! He was one shot, he had one health! So it looks like if you screw up and one of the boos escape, they go to a random uh, boo location where you found one before. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? Okay, that's kind of random, but okay, let's do that. Let's go to the bathroom. Hmm. I thought Luigi and Mario were supposed to be plumbers. Did they ever do any actual plumbing? In the movie. Uh, where's the bathroom again? I think it's the top left. So it looks like in, all, in the vases there's either hearts to refill your health. 
and monsters seem to respawn too. I don't know how to distract this guy. There's candles here that you can blow out. I don't know if that does anything. I think he's trying to light his candle, isn't he? Hold on, don't yell at me. I'm trying to figure this out. There's a guy walking around with candles in his hands. This candle's not blowing up. doesn't blow out either. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it yet? Maybe I need that elemental thing the game was talking about before. So you guys said the blue ghosts are the best ones? Hop in the bathtub, Luigi. Mario. Man, Luigi's really short. He can barely see over the sink. get it. He said to wash my face. Maybe the cutscene will trigger? That's weird. Washroom. This is a bathroom? What? Isn't a washroom and bathroom the same thing? In Canada, it's the same thing. You guys better not be trolling me. What the hell are you talking about? Canadian mix-up? The washroom has a bath in it. Okay, I'm never listening to that doctor again. You wasted my time. Hold on, let me use my camera, maybe the camera. There's this door too. Like I'm assuming I'm gonna get a key for that door. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What the hell was that? Mario. I'm back at the starting. Thanks, Toad. Completely useless. Hmm. 
Hmm? What? Isn't this the door? Oh, that's the only door that's locked. I get it. Oh, there's a ghost here. Is it the desk? In the lamp. Taboo. Good deeps. Oh, I got him right before he flew through the wall. Do you guys see that? Taboo. He plays Vega in the Street Fighter movie, The Legend of Chun Li. Something here too. Mario. Call for Mario. I've been calling Mario like all night. Turbo. Or Turbo. Oh, that one was easy. That was free. What brand do you guys think this vacuum cleaner he has? Is that Dyson? Mario. How do I get Luigi to scream Mario? One time he was like, Mario! Because he was getting fed up. <laughs> Do they still have uh, vacuum salesmen? Like, is that still a profession in the world? Is there still people that walk around door to door trying to sell vacuum cleaners? Mm -hmm. Is that still a thing? That's crazy. I mean, you can make a lot of money if you're like really good at selling vacuum cleaners, but man, it would be like, imagine how like depressing it would be to go door to door and then like, I can't imagine statistically the amount of people that would even invite you in. It would be like one out of like 20, you know? And then you have to waste so much time talking about how good the vacuum is. But really, when it comes down to it, it only comes down to how much it costs, right? And as soon as they hear the price of the vacuum, which is always like, if you're a vacuum salesman, your vacuum cleaner is going to be like a thousand dollars. You know, something ridiculous. And then you have to like, bring up the payment plans. <laughs> oh god. And then just have people just say no to you all day. Oh man. At least a car salesman makes a lot of money. Or can make a lot of money. But a vacuum salesman? At least if you're a car salesman, people come to you. Whereas a vacuum salesman, you have to harass everybody else. I think they make most of their money ripping off the elderly. I don't think, like, a vacuum is ripping somebody off. You know, maybe you're kind of, like, exaggerating how powerful the vacuum is and if you really need it. I wouldn't say it's like ripping people off. There are some pretty damn powerful vacuums these days. Like really crazy vacuums. And boomers like cleaning up. I mean, if you're if you got nothing to do, you know, might as well clean up the house. You're either cleaning up the house or uh you know, jogging through the mall. 
or you're chatting with people in the morning at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Maybe for our generation, it'll be different because, you know, we grew up playing video games. So, like, we're going to go to playing video games, you know? But, like, the, the boomer boomers, like, back in the day, they didn't grow up playing video games. So, like, you know, television has completely changed. Why are you guys laughing? Hmm. <laughs> but when you, you know, you're either watching The Price is Right or, you know... But I don't know if things change. But I think, like, when we all grow really old, we're just gonna play video games, right? Most likely retro. But the past generation is different. Anyways. We don't have a key yet, guys. This is so odd. Uh -oh. So we got 8 out of 50, but now I have to like re explore it. Oh, we like sucked up some of the cobweb there. Do you guys see that? Stop playing there's no way i think the older you get the more you like appreciate games for some reason like when you go back and play some of the old games you grew up playing as a kid you like notice things you didn't notice before especially me doing these retro streams when i play some of my favorite games i'm like wow like some like it doesn't it's not necessarily a good things. Some things are bad too. Like you know some flaws that you didn't notice before. mature are you saying video games are not mature so what's more mature playing solitaire or crib or doing crossword puzzles in the newspaper i mean everyone plays some type of game I still remember that weird fighting game you were hyping up that had animals duking it out and then the nostalgia goggles were slowly coming off during the stream. Vesper was awesome. What game was that? What the hell? Guys! Did you guys see that? <laughs> Why am I slowly falling down the steps? Oh, I stopped. That was weird. There's like inertia or something. You guys ever notice this? See? I'm like 50 years old and I've never known about this. Hmm. And I'm like, wow. Hmm. What the hell? We need to fill up. What game are you talk about, Azrati? I forgot, like, if there's gonna be at least one game I, I was like hyping up on the stream and then we played it, it was ass. Oh! I know an easy one! Super Double Dragon! For sure it was Super Double Dragon, that was a big one! I was like hyping it up so much, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play it. So me and Qual played it, and by the end of the game, we were miserable as fuck. Yeah, Super Double Dragons is, a, is a, definitely one of them. Everyone was hyped for it, too. Then again, we did play it twice. So that was a little weird. 
Punisher Arcade? Oh yeah, my cat call? I can't really... Whoa! Guys, how does this guy have so much money? No, next. Never heard of it. Gold mice are secrets? Well, it's kind of weird because the enemies, like, respawn in this game. So, is it just RNG that I ran into the gold mice, or what? And it's, like, right in the middle of the hallway. I can't get close enough to this guy. figure it out. I'm just revisiting all the areas, Claw. But I I think it's gonna be something stupid with the sink. Because that's the last thing uh what's his name? Dr. One Tooth said. Mario Mario Wait, there's another room we didn't go to here on the side. Guys, it's bathroom and washroom is the same fucking thing. Search it up on Google. How are they two different things? Where do you go to wash? In the fucking kitchen? In the living room? Hey, we never been here before. What the fuck? There's another sink in here, guys. Told, how the hell did you get in here? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, goodbye, Toad. Toad's not potty trained. I'm gonna flush this game. Let it swirl on down to the depths and let happiness refill my life. Holy shit. Oh my god, he flushed down the key? I don't understand. Did I forget to open this door, guys? Or did when he said to check out the sink, oh, yeah. he triggered this door being open? I don't know what I did. Did I screw up? Okay, well, with that being said, did he give me that hint qual because the game detected that I took too long to find it? And by the way, guys, this is a bathroom. Just so you know. This says washroom. I don't give a fuck what it says. It's a bathroom. Uh oh. Maybe I should have done that. Fuck. All mirrors warp you back to the main hall. Uh oh. Do you guys remember which door it unlocked? Oh, never mind. It's on the bottom floor. Restroom. Oh my god, guys. Okay, I'll give you guys another example. When when you search, when you look for houses, they describe the bathrooms as full bath or half bath. So even if there's no bathtub in it, it's still called a bathroom. They don't say washer. It's full bath or half bath. That's the actual term. But half bath does not mean there's half half of a bathtub. It just means there's no bathtub. 
I'm telling you, and it's an American thing. It has to be. In Canada, they're both called bathroom. Well, I learned something today, I guess. Could you open that door any slower? Fortune teller's room. What do you guys think of the idea of how- <gasps> Who's that? Is that the fortune teller? What do you guys think about like how they have it in Japan where like the shower is the bathroom? Like you take a shower literally in the room. Would that be efficient or weird? Can I talk to this guy? Yeah, yeah, the whole room is a bathroom. Like, the drain is, like, literally on the floor. Like, by the sink. I think that's gross. I mean, you're literally standing in a giant bathtub, pretty much. It is efficient, but it is also kind of weird. I think it's an efficiency of space. Well, I don't know, because a stand-up shower takes up no space at all. Like, you guys ever watch those mini house videos? You know where those people live in those small houses? Even in those small houses, they all have, like, stand-up showers. Every one of them. But they don't use- they don't have the buckets, Qua. They, they saw- they have, like, the- the shower thing you hold and they just spray themselves down while sitting. I think the whole buckets thing, that's for, like, spas and shit, right? What do you seek of me? Who are you? I'm Madame Clairvoya. Seer of dropped items. <laughs> Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I'll show you the extent of my vision. Okay. Uh, can I zap her? Hey! She's got a heart. But she looks useful, Kwa. Cool. I don't want to suck her up just yet. It won't let me. She can see the future and shit, Kwa. Cool. She would know I'm coming. The mirror room. We should play Clock Tower again, Qua, in, in October. Those games are so jank, but for some reason they're really fun. I think we still need to play 2 and 3. I remember we were trying to get, like, all the, the good ending and it was, like, so jank and shit. Haunting Ground? That's the one, uh... With the cami costume, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Catherine? Catherine's not a horror game, that's a puzzle game. That- the first one is weird, quality, because it has that one where that- Remember that the that detective was like hating on her?
Kung Boo. Oh shit. What's this? <laughs> oh, I think I gotta take it to the fortune teller. A fire element metal. Now you can use the fire element. We're gonna scorch these ghosts. Melt ice, light candles, do all kinds of stuff. Okay, so much information. Okay, let's get this ghost and oh. Hey, I got the fire meter. So how do I use this thing? Whoa! Oh my god, I got a flamethrower. We're gonna burn this mansion down. But yeah, when, when it says L... Oh, spiky door. When it says L, I thought it meant, like, left bumper. It's left trigger. Let's light these candles up. Man, this is dangerous! Guys, you should never light candles in your house like this. This is for professionals only. So I absorb the embers. This is so ridiculous. Hey, the door opened. What's this uh, red guy? What's up with that guy? Yeah, but like for October, guys, I want to play like a lot of horror games. I don't want to just remember last time we, we we basically did so one horror game a week. We gotta do something like that. Hey, a key spawn. <laughs> no, I, I took a look at, at the quarry because, like I said, I was really paranoid because all the games they've made, super massive have made, have been like looked really bad, and I don't think I'll like the quarry. But you know what you guys should do? You guys need to convince Willy to play um, Until Dawn, man. He needs to play it. Or get him to play... No, don't get him to play Detroit. He'll hate one of the characters. Get him to play Until Dawn. Willy would love that game. You guys need to convince him. We have RE8 DLC too. Yeah, that's a given. We'll play that regardless of, you know, it being Halloween or, or not, you know? For sure. Um, let's go to this candle guy. And let's light his candle. Here he is. So I absorb candles and stuff to refill my fire meter. Ah, fire, 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 run away! Ah, he just hit me, what the hell?
Oh, he went through this door. So the portrait ghosts are like, I don't know, they're like secret ghosts now? Mm -hmm. oh, there he is. He went into... He's in the laundry room. Mario's cat! We found Mario's hat, and it's been long- What? They cleaned his hat. Interesting. We need to go to the fortune teller. Well, we're on the right track now, guys. We were a little lost before, but now... Kind of getting led into the right direction. Boogie! I got him trapped against the wall, he's screwed. We got 9 out of 50. Oh, it's the butler's room, guys. He went, he ran back to his room. Funky, never say whip out ever again in the stream. There's kids that watch this. Can I light? Is this? What is that? Is that toilet paper? What's this? He doesn't know what a sewing machine is? I wonder how much they sell for. Guys, Luigi's always got money on the mind. Hide some savings? Guys, I think Luigi's like a cryptomaniac or something. <laughs> In case of a fire. Hey, it is toilet paper! Sorry, I got excited there. It looks ordinary. A little too ordinary. What's that supposed to mean? Uh... 
Oh. Is that worth a lot? I literally got a cutscene for it. Those must be like super secret money in the game. Did I examine everything? <laughs> Every time I absorb the fire from the candle, those guys uh, float out. Can I examine things up here? Can you zoom in with this thing? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, why you guys call me blind? Am I blind? <laughs> Oh, I'm looking carefully. You guys are calling me blind. I I pretty much examined everything, right? Maybe not the the kettle. Uh. Start scorching everything. Huh? What's scanner vision? What are you guys talking about? This? Is there something else I can do with this that I don't know? Are you trying to say first person, Claw? I've searched like every object, haven't I? Or did I miss something? Search this shelf. I've searched. And that's all I've been doing is looking around. Hey. What's that mean? How is the little kid supposed to figure that out? Oh yeah. How is a kid supposed to figure that out? Damn, I can't get that ghost. Luigi doesn't spin fast enough. Oh, I can't hurt these guys? Holy shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. We have to use the fire. Oh shit! Back off, assholes! Man, Luigi looks beat. Luigi looks beat, guys. Oh. 
This is me when watching day one evil pools. Yes, health. Uh-oh. No! Gumbu! Oh my god, I'm lit. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about using the fire on the ghost. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Too much Coke Zero. Oh. Wow! Look at all the money. Yahoo! 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 I missed the health too? Shit. Yahoo! Look guys, on the bottom right of the screen you see Luigi. It's like the Mario All-Stars Luigi. That's so bullshit. You have to literally like look for like the craziest things. Now where's the butler? I need to ice this guy. We need to refill our fire. Call him Mario since you're lit. He sounds different when he's lower health. Mario? Mario! Mario? Mario? Luigi's tapped out, dude. He's tapped. Oh my god, guys, not good. We're one shot. We need to save. We need to fucking save. Am I playing this game on hard mode? Holy shit, we need that heart. Yeah, I saw the map showed me, but I don't know. Part of me still wanted to believe. Mario? Still though, what happened to the butler guys? He just disappeared. Okay, where's our next lead? Let's go check. Holy shit, he is here. What's he doing back here? Be on his ass. Oh, he's right here. Oh, he had to sit down on his chair. Oh, he's powerful. 
Oh god. There's pearls everywhere. No! Hey, he re-entered the room. Got him. Damn, you need to, to defeat him to get the key, guys. How is a kid supposed to beat this game? They made this game way too hard. Man, they just didn't mess around back in the day, ball. They didn't care. It's like you bought the game, now deal with it. It's crazy. If this game was released like now, there would have been an outrage. Oh, it's a music room. Conservatory. Hey, it's the Donkey Kong Bongos. Yeah, yeah, the Luigi humming. He, like I said, he whistles when the room has light, when there's like no danger. But then he hums when there's danger. Because he's like trying to give himself confidence. scared me. Wow, look at her go. She's just jamming on that piano. You know, if you know how to play the piano, you'd be really good on hitbox because the dexterity in all your fingers would be really strong. I need some kind of distraction here. It what if you master <laughs> if you master the, the hitbox you'll master piano. Dude, piano is like it's such a prestigious musical instrument to learn, you know? And it's also very difficult, I would imagine. Like, you know, you know all those like Konami music games in the arcade? You had like uh the guitar game, I forgot what it was called. Um I don't know what it was called. It wasn't Guitar Hero, was it? Is Guitar Hero the Normie one? There's the the drum game they had too. But anyways, not Rock Band. It's the one that Konami made, Qua. It's the one that, uh, like, Activision ripped off. Guitar Freaks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because Konami was the ones that started that whole like musical instrument thing. We had Beat Mania, right? We had the Drum Drum Mania. They had all these kind of music games, right? There's even the musical games where you like you just dance and you use your hands and you wave your hands around. No one played them in the arcade because people got made fun of. But anyways, the there was one Konami game. It was a piano. It was like a uh, half of a piano, basically. It was like, but a lot of keys. Like, oh, there was like 22 keys or something. It was ridiculous. That game, guys, was so hard. I tried playing it. And like, I used to play all these rhythm games when I was a kid. And I couldn't even complete one song. It was so insane. There were like a million notes coming down on even on the easiest stages. And it was like, it was brutal. No one played it in that game. Just like, they took it out of the arcade. It was so crazy. Like, Beat Mania has keys, too, and the, the turntable, but when it gets to the point where you have to use both your hands, that's when it becomes, like, super next level, you know? Hmm. Because, I mean, a lot of people who play Beat Mania, they usually use both their hands to hit only, like, you know, the seven keys that they that they use, right? They use their pinky to hit the, the turntable. Oh, Beat Mania is really good. Back in the day when we had our, our Palladium, we, there was a, one of the first Beat Mania machines that we had in our city was in, in Palladium, and they had the volume crank mm -hmm. so high. It was amazing, dude. I loved it. I remember the first time seeing like DDR1 2 in the arcade. It was so next level. Like, I remember like all my friends were like, man, you gotta play it. Like, they, you know, everyone was afraid to play it by themselves, so they needed a friend to play with them, right? So you both embarrass yourselves. Oh my god, dude. And then as soon as you hear that, that, uh, that butterfly song, man. It's engraved in your brain forever. Yeah, piano is, is hardcore. There's probably like a tier list on YouTube on difficulty of learning an instrument. The problem with the piano, another thing that makes it so prestigious is it's so expensive. And so big. You know, like, you can't carry a piano up the stairs. That's why you always have all those funny cartoons of pianos tied on ropes being brought up to a balcony. So just getting it into your house, having the space for it, and God knows how much a piano costs, you know? Why is it some... Oh. Some of the objects that say question marks makes you want to hit it. Oh, maybe I should check that shelf again then. I recognize this song from somewhere, but I can't quite... Put my finger on it. Oh, yeah. Mario. And we're activating all the instruments. Oh, yeah. Spectral beauty of the ivory keys. P 
piano song. Oh no. The most overplayed song in existence. Wait, what's this? This is the stupid stage where the sun chases you. I hate this level. Do I know which game? <laughs> it's Mario 3, you noob. Anyone who doesn't know that shouldn't be playing Nintendo games. I not only did I know what song, what game it came from, I knew what stage it came from too. That's how next level my knowledge is. I talk a lot of shit about Nintendo, but I still. Wait, what? Oh my god. Flying notes. Got her! What's the name of the track, though? It's Mario DN. She doesn't actually play the Moonlight Sonata. I'm pretty sure that song is royalty free. Who composed the Moonlight Sonata? Are you just making that up, Paul? <laughs> Wait, do I have to hit the music again? Maybe I just have to survive. There we go. No! I let go of the, the trigger for a second. Wolfgang Krauser? That's a badass name. If your name was Wolfgang Krauser, you know you were like destined for greatness. Like, like you wouldn't be working at McDonald's. Like imagine you work at McDonald's and your name was Wolfgang Krauser. You know, no, that's something you're destined for greatness. It was Beethoven? Really? I'm actually blown away by that. Excuse me, Mr. Krauser. Damn it! I did it again, guys! The reason I let go is because I, I want the flashlight to hit her. I keep screwing up, guys. Got her. Oh, there's a ghost in here, too. Go away. You know, when you think about this, mansion is actually quite small. As far as mansions go. Uh, is he in the bongo drums? The xylophone? What am I not? What am I not grabbing, guys? Or is he moving around? Yep.
I missed the ghost in the butler room? I'll, I'll go back after. Wh where is he? Usually they're in an object, but... Hey, that painting moved. Yeah. Oh, I had to use the object? Is there a difference? Yeah, I guess so. Boomio. Boomio? Oh, that one was tricky, man. He went into the foreground. This game is a fucking masterpiece. Man, Nintendo fans make me very uncomfortable. Take that. At least we saved. Is there any way I can heal in this game, guys? Like, if I go to Toad, can he, like, I don't know, give me a mushroom or something? Okay, you said butler room, right? Go back to the butler room. Did I get a key? I did get a key, too. Uh, butler room is, like, over here, right? No, it's not. Wait, let's talk to Toad. Let's see if he refills our house. I don't understand what he's saying. He can help me out. He doesn't help me out with anything. Hmm. And he heals. No. Yeah, the, the the first sink I got hard, but let me check. I didn't check the second sink from the washroom, <laughs> not the bathroom, even though they're the same thing. No, this one had nothing. Why does that ghost always respawn? Holy cow! So this shelf had a quite Oh, you're right, there's a ghost here. And when you search the shelf, right? You see the question mark? Is it different if I go like this? It is. Oh, okay. So whenever we search an object, if we see the question mark, we have to actually bane on it. It's peekaboo. That heart is more important. Did I get the heart, guys? I didn't see. I must have. I have 72 out. Mario. Yeah, okay, good. I can't believe how it just seems like you don't get enough health. Crazy. Hate the bomb ghost? Yeah, it's annoying. He spawns every time. 
Okay, we there's a door we haven't opened up yet right here. Let's go get this. Mario. <laughs> Come on, dude. There's bones and bananas everywhere. Whoa! Who's that? <laughs> Mukbang ghost. Hey, that's the rare one, guys. Okay, that's impossible. How am I supposed to get that ghost? No one can see me. No one. I mean, I know I was too far, Bunky, but I guess I have to, like, turn off the flashlight and run close. How do I get this guy? Oh, I was about to say he stopped eating for a second. I think I have to give him food or something. Hmm. Nice, it's a big heart. We're almost full. Of oh my god! Haunted pots and pans. Wait, how do you vacuum up a giant pan? That makes no sense. Oh wait, this is the frosty one. Fry! Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm losing my health. No! Done. Oh, we got a new element. So what does it do? A water element. A big ball of water. The water has purifying properties. Oh, so it's like holy water. Okay. I wonder, does the water replace the fire? Grab this. Hooligan, wow, he's got so much health. No! It does replace it. Oh my god, I just realized something. Was Mario Sunshine on the GameCube? Those lazy bastards. This game was a giant beta test.
Would relighting it do any good? Okay. What else is in here? Uh, you're right there, Luigi. This is a super soaker. Yeah, super soakers are awesome. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're outside! Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. What the hell is that? Can't even examine it. What's that say? Mr. Bones? Who's Mr. Bones? Holy shit! Oh! Oh! He needs a bone. He has a water tap. Though. So there's two guys to capture right away. Maybe he wants water? Mm -hmm. Am I filling the bowl up? I can't see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drink! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, this thing would be overflown! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are they able to run this game in 30 FPS? Okay, we need to find fire so we can uh, cook this pot here. We probably need to give it to this guy. Oh, there's some fire right here. Where are these banana peels going? Hmm. Wow! That's not what I wanted, though. I want to solve this puzzle. Uh, did it give me another key? One of the ghosts got away from us too, we need to find them. Can I grab these bones? Oh my god, dude, I slipped on a banana. Ah! Damn it. Where are the ghosts go? I guess we'll just find them naturally. Hopefully. No, it, it, the thing didn't blink at all in this room. But maybe I have to figure this out first before he spawns again. You like these candles? Oh, that's what you mean. No one could see me in the darkness. Oh, I think I can grab his food now. Whoa, who are these guys? Oh, these guys deliver him the food. 
so he can't eat anymore. Your services are no longer required. Now let's grab his food. I grabbed it before. Looks like I'm grabbing it. Is there a ghost I didn't see around here? Oh, he's running low on food. Maybe you just have to wait for him to finish it. I think I can help him, though. Okay, he's out. Oh, he's pissed. Wait, what? Maybe I have to... Absorb these. Uh, hopefully, I don't need the, the water one. Oh my god! See if I can go and grab the water now. Oh, health. Yeah, it looks like it. Cool off. He's powerful! Look, see, and the ghost appeared now since we cleared this room. Whoa! This place is jacked! If you're playing Luigi's Match, I used to play this game back when it came out. My condolences. Okay, we got a key. I don't know. Oh, there's another ghost here. What the hell? Gudacious. Oh my god, he bounced in like two seconds. Mario! <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Hey. Sorry about that. I was talking to my brother for a bit. Oh, okay, Bunky. Okay, uh, we got keys to a door, and then 
Which door did I get for? No. Wait, didn't I just get a key, guys? I don't think- oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe we have to figure out this dog puzzle now. Yeah, I got the, the the diamond, right? But I didn't get a key. Water thing right here too. Wait, what? What the hell is that, guys? It's a seed? It's a beanstalk thing. Why is it not doing anything? It needs more water? <laughs> Sounds quiet. Maybe you go into the doghouse or something. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we have any other leads. I guess we have to look for stuff that we can use this water for now that we have the water element. So let's go to the bathroom. Damn it, I'm getting my ass kicked. Fucking mice and bats everywhere. Oh. You can get water from here, too. Nothing in the toilet? Oh yeah, this mansion's like a fake mansion, right? Wow, that toilet paper sucks! this guy like snake does there's a zoom on the map
there's that switch in the basement we haven't used yet, but I don't know what that has to do with the water. Nice, dude. Okay, let's keep looking around. Your favorite? More than Mario's missing? grab the cobwebs too. Because <laughs> there's like any mouse holes in this room maybe. Here's the question mark. He doesn't say anything about this? I would say that we need the water more. This is something we just recently got. So. Let's head to the left side now. We just mentioned it's basically Nintendo's Resident Evil. Yeah, I, I have no idea what this game was about. Like, I know Luigi had a vacuum, but I had no idea it was literally like a puzzle survival horror game it re it really is it's like mm -hmm. nintendo spin on it like how can we make a game that's like survival horror but for kids it's literally what it is like this adding this camera thing to like examine objects is like their way to make it you know mm -hmm. add add puzzles make it a little bit more complicated Teaches kids to be curious of their surroundings. Okay, let's go back to the main floor. Oh, wait, we are on the main floor. Let's go back to the second floor. Put out this fire. And the fire just went back up. What the hmm. hell? There's another locked door here. 
Mm. Make a water the plants. I can't believe you never played this before. A Nintendo game? Hmm. There's another plant here. Whoa. We're running low on... On water. Okay, we search all these doors. You want me to stay in the right direction? No. If it's made for six year old kids, I can figure it out. Mm -hmm. If I can't figure out, then we flush it. Well, there's no like booze running around either. Like I said, our main lead is the dog. Or his polka dots on his head. Hmm. Hey, I didn't do this before. Is there anything in this main hall? The chandelier. Nope. Okay, it's gotta be back where the dog is. It just has to be. It's the only thing. Grab fire this time. Like, I, I would assume we throw him a bone. Damn, you can't open it without getting hit?
Well, what happened? Wait, why did Mr. Bones appear out of nowhere? What did I do that made him appear? Oh, because the dog was chasing me and being noisy. It woke his ass up. How's a fucking kid supposed to figure that out? Dude, that's just like real life for me right now. That's a literally real life for me. Poor Mr. Bones. And then the dog sees Mr. Bones' bone. And he gets distracted. It's a domino effect. I got to examine Mario. that. Whoa. Is this a creepy pet cemetery? At least we're full out of it. I don't know if I want to grab the fire. <laughs> Jeez, Luigi. It's so dark. There's gotta be a key here. Bones at you. With those annoying skeletons in Castlevania. Finally get our key. Mm -hmm. 
Is Mario in there? <laughs> Oh my god, look how scared Luigi is, he's gonna shit his pants. At least we're finally not stuck anymore, holy shit. Yeah, I forgot about that call. It's almost time to play that again, too. Where's my flashlight? There's so many shadows. Why is it sometimes Luigi pulls out his flashlight and sometimes he doesn't? I guess I gotta hit the ones that are not uh, clear. Oh, that was cheap! It pulled me right into him. Oh, there he is. I wonder if it matters uh, how big the shot is, because these guys are way smaller. This guy is super strong. You have to, like, let him go a bit, otherwise he's gonna knock me into the other guys. So I gotta absorb as many of these guys as I can. To clear it up so I can get as much deeps as I can. Oh, I missed! I wonder if it's better just to let him go. Weird, the boss was kind of like small, you know. He was like super huge, and then he went like super tiny. Yay! He always loses his signal when we fight a boss. So why did the game force me to come back to the lab? It's that chapter? That's <laughs> that Luigi smiling. This is like the darkest part of the game. Look at all the ghosts! We took so many of them.
They're all being sold on eBay. Even the doggo. <laughs> wow, he did a shoryuken. Did you guys see that? Only nine. That's his up B, you noob. He has that in Smash. Who's better in Smash, Mario or Luigi? Who's higher tier? Wait, what? What this game needs is some kind of progression system. It needs to use those coins to buy things. <laughs> like a more powerful vacuum or a more powerful flashlight. Or a ghost jumpsuit. Where are we going now? Oh, it's on the main floor. Uh-oh. Spunky's giving hints, guys. Not good. He's getting impatient. It's a really big plant. Why does it never say anything? Mario. Mario. It's kind of strange, it won't let me examine. So at the end of every chapter, I need to water this thing? Hmm. Hey, there's a ghost here. <gasps> Audacious. Is this game better than what I expected? I just didn't expect this to be like this at all. I thought it was like... I don't know, like... It's like a game where you just kind of travel through the levels and you vacuum ghosts. I didn't know it was like... A survival horror. It's really weird. But they, they, they obviously had to dumb it down. I think if they added an inventory system, maybe, that would have taken it up one more notch. Like I said, it needs one more thing. Like an inventory system or... Yeah, probably an inventory system. Because it has puzzles, right? And there are objects you use with the vacuum to solve the puzzles. But... 
they didn't want to make it so complicated where it's like you find a key item and you need to figure out how to use it. And this game seems like, even though I've never played Mario Sunshine, it seems like a strange like prototype to test mechanics for Mario Sunshine. And, like, you can go up to objects and thump them, but it's not examining. Like, you examine with this thing. Like you're playing Pokemon Snap or something. Mario. You think if they added a uh, inventory system, it would be too complicated for kids? <laughs> The game I still think the game is too complicated for kids already though. Where it's already at. What the hell is Toad doing in the outhouse? Man, every toad is like on a toilet, you notice that? Wait, what? Why did I get a chest for this? Oh, it's just money. I thought I was gonna get a key, I was confused. Hey, the sun is coming up. That's crazy. Oh shit! I was about to say, I'm like, can you find ladders in this? That's the lights? It looked like uh, Dawn was coming up. Oh, what the hell is this? For? Oh, Luigi! <laughs> Claw, is that your wallpaper? <laughs> what the hell? Get me out of here! Mario's trapped in fucking Mario 64! <laughs> How can I save you if I can't save myself? Wait, there's a key here. Okay, at least we're not lost. Mario's fucking trapped in a painting, guys. Well, at least we found him, so we know he's still alive. By the way, why is he wearing his hat when we found his hat in the laundry? That's kind of strange. The controls are really simple in this game, I noticed. There's no way I can open these doors without getting hit? How could they do that tomorrow? They're ghosts, they're animals. His gloves, a shoe, a letter, and a star. Oh god. Yippee skip yahoo. Okay, so we still don't know what items I'm supposed to give to the fortune teller. So do I. <laughs> fortune teller? 
Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, man. All right, Toad. You got it. It was really bad in the game controller. You had to claw the C and the control stick. Yeah, because the C button is like, just like the worst. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack. Let's go. Let's go to the fortune teller first. Run Luigi as fast as you can. Hustle. At least the mansion's really tiny. Like it's easy to move around places because it's all everything's compact and compressed. I don't remember the fortune teller is. Does anyone remember where she is? She's definitely on the on the first floor, I'm pretty sure. The bottom left is the butler's room. The left side is these the dog. Right here, musical room. Mario. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Can I play the piano? That's the ballroom to my right. What about down this side? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah. It's Mario's hat. Why it's so clean as if someone just washed it. Wow guys, that's literally me. Sorry. Sometimes I like to add a little drama. To it. Hmm. How did you not know this is Luigi? I literally have an L on my hat. He's not in the spirit world? That's good. That would not go well with his, uh, you know, problem. It didn't help us at all! Hey, the lights are on in this room. Did you guys notice that? There's no enemies here. Mario. Did that happen because I completed the chapter or the well area? Oh, it was a chapter, okay. Mm -hmm. Mario. 
Whoa! Somebody's pumping iron. It's Duke Nukem. Look at this buffness. I'm huge! How do you like to be my punching bag, weakling? Wait, what kind of workout machine is this? Oh! The punching bag kicked my ass. Oh, I hit him with the punching bag! Oh, he's pissed! Uh oh. Run, Luigi! Oh shit! Oh no! He's doing the the Bart Simpson. The punching bags are harder than him. Mario. He's coming right for me. Okay, we gotta hit him again somehow. Oh, got him. Just had a weird angle. Oh! He's too jacked! Oh no, he's pissed. Oh, fuck! Take that. <gasps> Got him. Oh, that was cheap. What's hitting me? I don't understand. Or am I he's just escaping? Should have worked on your cardio. Oh yeah. He's shaking it out. I don't know. I'm doing a pretty good job in the opposite direction, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Hey, there's a, there's a ladder here. Hey, there's a ghost here. So much health. <laughs> Am I mashing the opposite direction, or are you hold? You hold. You hold it against the booze. You 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 stay sync with them, but for the other ghosts, it's the opposite. It's like you're playing a fishing game. But even if you don't. Pull in the opposite direction. They kind of they tra they drag your character, and when they drag your character around, uh, you run into objects even if you don't want to. You only love fishing games, Qua, because your JRPGs brainwashed you. Wait, what did he say? I wasn't listening. 
Did I get a key? I was too busy talking to Qua. He said get some more booze? Okay. But I didn't get a key, though. So we're gonna have to explore because it's a new chapter. Which game has the best fishing mini game? I think uh, Breath of Fire 3 had a good fishing game, I'm pretty sure. I like the fishing game in Ocarina. No, no, fishing side game call, not an actual fishing game. Run on the treadmill? Ah, uh, I would have never figured that out. I would have literally never figured that out. But you still shouldn't have told me though. Yeah, no no hints guys, please. Especially since we're playing a puzzle game, but I would have never figured that out. Anyways. Uh oh, I've gotta go all the way around the hall. Too big for your brain? It's not that. If if it was like it feels like I can't exit the room. Like, like I know that like I have to be here. Then I would have like you know examined everything more closely and be like, oh. But since it's like, oh, maybe they spawn a different enemy somewhere in the mansion. My brain wasn't just focused on the room itself. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. I was supposed to, uh, I needed that key though. I think it just gave me a shortcut, right? Let's see. Aww. Yeah, I don't think this key was like required. It's just a shortcut door. But I probably would have played through the whole game without opening that door. Yeah, usually I don't like any hints whenever we play anything like puzzle, because that's like the whole point of the game. I guess in hindsight you could have just told me, hey, there's something still in that room, and then maybe I would have figured it out. Doors on fire. Hmm. You said best for the kids. Yeah, I told you it's too hard for kids. But Bunky asked if I wanted any if I uh, wanted any hits, hints, and I said no. Okay, let's go grab some water. Oh wait, we have water. What? That was weird. Get off me. Getting comboed here. Ouch. 
you can shake them off really fast. Man, these plates are hella annoying. Wait, why did Lu why did Luigi turn the other direction? <gasps> Whoa, that's kind of cool. I'm underestimating kids. No, I'm not. Nintendo has perfected making games for kids. And this game, as far as Nintendo games go, is a step above when it comes to difficulty for kids. Nice eye, eye frames. Get off me. Oh, I go spawn in here too. How do I hop on the table or do I just grab this bad boy? So, the boo just spawns that thing just to troll you? Mario? Who jangles? Damn, we went to the other room? Damn, he was one shot. Whoa. What? I didn't flash him? That was weird. I was standing right in front of him. Huh. I, I don't understand. Is the flashlight not in front of his face? Maybe I have to use water on him because there's fire on him? Oh, there we go. Nice. See, there's some rooms you have to re explore. You gotta pay attention to the differences, too. Oh, he says that all the time. Maybe I have to burn it. You gotta find fire. No! Mushroom bad! Mario. Nice. More health. Wait, why am I not grabbing that heart? Camera just went crazy there. It's an ice bucket. 
Oh, right. There's these things on the floor that make me go upside down. When I was fighting them, it had that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of strange, though, since, you know, Luigi and Mario are known for jumping, and now they're in a game where they can't jump. It's the ice element. Refrigerator. Okay, use against water. Oh! Hot bath would get cold. Okie dokie, more puzzles. Mario! Freeze them. <laughs> I don't know where that ghost went though. That like, escaped from me. <laughs> What's that? It's a spiky ghost. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Luigi's a peeping Tom. Mm -hmm. Can I examine this enemy? Wow, these guys detonate too? Super dangerous. I gotta freeze the toilet. Hey, I did freeze the toilet. Yeah. I clogged the pipes. I need to test if I can burn this poster. Completely confirmed now, this is not a kid's game. Alright guys, close your eyes. Oh my god! Ouch! Achoo! I should have seen what uh, the hint was. Like what it would have said if I if I talked to him. Okay, that was cheap. I can't use my vacuum on tiny. Oh, I can check now. Hot shower. You think if someone likes this game, they'll like survival horror games? Hmm. Yeah? Like, it, it literally is a survival horror. It's got, like, backtracking and- Whoa! Wait, have I been here before? No, I haven't. That's weird. Should I play with him? Mm. Oh! I hear in the back. 
If you think this is too hard to be a kid's game, you're gonna change your opinion on Professor Layton's series like halfway through the first one. You know, Raptor, I heard about a lot about the Professor Layton series. I heard it's really good. I've never, I've never played it or, or even seen it. I've heard a lot about uh, Ace Attorney as well. I don't know if that's a puzzle game though. But I've never seen a Nintendo game like this before. That's what, that's what's crazy to me, I guess, because it's it's a, you know, it's a launch title. It's a mainstream uh, Mario game, and it's and it's a survival horror with a, with a Mario spin. It's it's crazy. Mario. I've never heard anyone like mention that before. If you guys would have told me, hey Vesper. You should check out Luigi's Mansion. It's a survival horror Mario game. But then again, if you guys did say to me, I mean, I would have thought you're full of shit. Like that sounds so stupid. There's no way I would believe you. I literally did say that, and you said I was full of shit. Are you sure? Oh yeah. There's a moldy old journal. Will you read it? What a hilarious trick I played on Miss. Petunia? She jumped into the bath that filled filled with ice from the freezer. Oh, they gave you another hint. Another thing, too, is... Like... The reading and stuff. Like, the, it, the amount of text it gives you is really short, right? It makes sure it's not too overwhelming for kids. Dude, this game is a social experiment. This game is a social experiment, dude. And then... Silent Hill took it to the next level and like made puzzles so ridiculous, it's like... Insane. Okay, well... I, did she uh, run away? No, she's here again. Okay, I'll pay, I'll pay attention to where she ran. How is she moving the chair? She's got laser eyes. Oh, if the if the the yarn despawns, she despawns. Compared to Super Mario 64, this was such a letdown. Well, that's I that, I can totally understand that. I can totally understand that. But I think it's probably one of those situations where Nintendo didn't have enough time, right? They needed to get the console out and they needed to get the games out and they they needed to take more time with Sunshine. Plus, Nintendo is, is really well known for not rushing any of their games. I know it's hard to comp- you're right in, you know, you shouldn't be comparing the 64, but what he- what he obviously means is that he- you went from a launch title like Mario 64, and when you have the Mario brand, you expect an epic big, like, adventure game as a launch title. That's obviously what he meant. You know, when you got an N64, a Mario 64 was like a, a system seller, you know? There was like nothing like it. It was like, you know, fucking insane, right? Grab it, Luigi.
Nice, we did one go. I think another problem too is like once you got in the at this point, you know, when the GameCube came out, the competition for gaming started to get really fierce again, you know? Like Sony came out of nowhere. Oh yeah. And then there's GameCube you guys cause GameCube was PS2 era, right? So then we're that's that means Dreamcast was probably out by then. Like there's a lot of competition at this point, so they just had to take a lot more time with their games. Hey, that's the that's the one we're missing. Nice. There's another ghost in here. <gasps> Van Gore. But, uh, I, I, I want to do some reading up on this game. Like, I want to understand their thought process making this game. I'm still kind of, like, blown away about what kind of game I'm playing right now. It's like, I don't know, it's like a fan project. It's really weird. Like, seeing, like, Mario RPG for the first time, it also, like, I was kind of, I was blown away by it, but, but a survival horror is like, what? You know, that means, like, the only thing I haven't seen is, like, an FPX Mario game, you know? Uh, PS2 launch titles? Mm -hmm. It was the PS3 that notoriously had the worst launch, right? I'm pretty sure. The PS3 had the worst launch because that's when the 360... The 360 came out and was kicking ass, right? But... The PS2... Was... You know, the, the thing is, it's just, it's just riding off the coattails of PS1. Like, the PS2 is the highest selling console of all time, pretty sure. By a large margin, too. The launch titles for PS2, I remember Dead or Alive was one of the launch titles. I don't remember what else. Hmm. I remember Dead or Alive, there's something else. I don't, was the Balancer a launch title? I never played that game. That game looks really weird. I know DOA was a launch title for sure. Because I was at my friend's house when he got a PS2 and that's the first game we played. I think Street Fighter EX3 was a launch title. I'm pretty sure Street Fighter EX3 was a launch title. I, I would have to look it up, man. You're like taking me back. PS3 is way more expensive than the competition, didn't have many launches. Yeah, I know it was in the course. There was a lot of problems with it though. The PS3, that was the cell processor and shit too, right? There's a lot of problems going for it. Mm -hmm. I remember back in the day, I remember during like the console wars, like Sony fans would always bring up that their online was free. <laughs> I remember that shit. It was so hilarious when Sony finally decided to charge. Uh, how the hell do I get to this door? What? Am I blind? Oh, I have to go back to the staircase. Yeah, backwards compatibility. We were talking about that last week. I was talking about how no one really talks about it anymore, you know? 
But it used to be one of the biggest de uh, deal breakers for buying a console was backwards compatibility. Anyways, you know, PlayStation was just such an amazing new console. And Sony just got such a crazy fan base because they had so many godlike games for PlayStation. That naturally, when the PS2 got announced, I mean, it was just the craziest shit ever. You know, that game could have had no games and it still would have sold like crazy. So. Definitely the craziest console launch of all time. PS2 was insane. I remember, like, hearing about it on the news. Just the crazy hype. Just, it was just the most insane thing ever. Like, I, I remember seeing like a video of, of, of them. St they had to stand. There were so many people crowded around the counter. I don't know if it was a Walmart or a Zellers. And the, the people, the guys had the consoles in their hands and they had to stand on the counters because they couldn't fucking, you know what I mean? There's no way to tell who was in the front of the line. And they were like, chucking these things at people it was so insane like and the playstation 2 lineup in japan like the, the there was like so many videos documenting it the the lineup is just oh, it was so nuts such a crazy time I never went up here yet. We should still go to the key. Oh, it's unlocked. It's locked anyways. And this is a fake door. Let's go back. Please stop talking bad about my dusty PS5. Zach, your PS5 could have came in the clutch if they announced a Street Fighter 6 beta. Looks like we're far away from that. I'm sure Stang will be happy. At this rate, there should be no beta in October and I should be able to attend his wedding. PS3 launched, dude. It's brutal. It's funny too. I got I had an Xbox 360 before I got my first PlayStation and PlayStation 2. I'm pretty sure. All I know is I got the hell away from Nintendo. That was like the key thing. The PS5 hasn't even gone down in price yet, hey? Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, by the time the PS5 does come out in price, I wouldn't be surprised if they make like a PS5 Pro. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Switch eventually. Dude, I've been hearing rumors of a new Switch for years now. Yeah, I I had a, a regular Xbox. That mm. thing was like amazing for mods and stuff. You can watch movies on it too. Mm. Yeah, Ethernet port. The first time I experienced online console gaming was was Dreamcast though. I used to play uh Unreal Tournament online on Dreamcast, and I played uh, Choo Choo Rocket.
It was kind of weird how I play it on real uh, tournament. Because remember, I, I I didn't at this point I don't I never had a computer, right? So I never really experienced mouse and keyboard. So what I did was I had the Dreamcast keyboard so I can like chat to people and stuff, right? So I did a hybrid where I used the keyboard and the controller at the same time. It's really messed up. But I still played the game really well. I had some pretty good streaks, but I, I didn't get my, my FPS boner yet. That wasn't until I finally got my computer and played Counter-Strike. That's when it began. Ten years of my life down the drain. I don't remember where I got the keyboard. Money. Okay, there's obviously got to be something here. <laughs> What's this? It's just a chair. Uh, what's this thing up here? Physics. Oh, it's the twins. What was the hint for the twins again in the library? Do you guys remember? <laughs> the fuck <knows>? Goodbye. <laughs> I love the, the canned responses. Wait outside. Okay, hopefully they only hide in this room. Okay, you can come in now. Oh, there's a bunch of boxes here. Wrong. Wait. Okay, let me pay attention to the kind of boxes they have. Maybe to remember, one's a stripe and one's a star. Mm. Uh, Vesper, stop baiting your mods into banning me. Why? What did I say? What did I do? Ask, I'm just speaking out loud, guys. Guys, that is that is being a streamer 101 is to speak out loud. And sometimes I have to ask rhetorical questions. So you guys know my thought process. I'm not going to like sit here like a mute and not say anything. Why can't I spin this thing anymore? Wait, the box is already here. Fucking blind. Wait, what? It's RNG? That's bullshit. Okay, there's gotta be a way. Huh. I'm 
I'm never gonna help Vesper again. If he's dangling off a cliff on one arm, like in Left 4 Dead, I'm just gonna stare at him. If your teammate is dangling off with one arm in Left 4 Dead, you pretty much lose at that point. You're pretty much screwed. It takes so long to lift them up from the ledge. It's like a full 10 seconds or something. If you're playing multiplayer, you, you pretty much lost if someone gets locked off a ledge. There's gotta be a way to distinguish them, right? It's not shaking. That one's shaking. Mario! Oh yeah. Not bad, mister. Okay. So it's gotta be this one. Yeah. Play fair cheater. What? Oh shit! Wait, you guys are fucking cheating. You guys got like vehicles and I knocked him off his scooter. Like I said, I, I wonder if I should let go save myself when I know I'm gonna get hit. Let's see what happens when you let go, if I'm able to like control it better. No, if I let if I let go, I get uh, losing anyways. It's kind of weird. I wonder, like speed run wise, how you're supposed to do this efficiently if there is RNG of getting of him forcing you into a bomb or a mushroom. Hey, it's Mario's shoe! What the hell? It smells like Mario's feet. What the hell? Boris? Wow, he was gone in a second! Is this fucking thing in my way? Oh, he's still there! Pokey says no dead air in between for 10 seconds. What? No, I. There's no way you should be talking every 10 seconds. I would lose my mind. Keep the ice for now. Hmm. Why did they leave his shoe? I don't know. They're animals. I need to go back to the fortune teller. 
And she's on the ground floor. Did I get a key? I did. Okay. So we got our lead. Let me go back to the room just in case. Okay, I think I'm... What time is it? Holy shit, guys! It's like 1 a.m. Guys, why didn't anyone tell me it was like 1 in the morning? What the fuck? I thought it was like 10 o'clock. You were so... No, I was trying to keep the chat calm. You guys didn't say shit. I saw it was 12. You guys are animals, man. Why didn't you guys fucking say anything? Let me go back to the fortune teller real quick. What the hell's wrong with you guys? It's so worn it's as if he's walked a thousand miles. Jesus. Yeah, I already know he's a painting. This fortune teller is useless. I could have figured this out. Oh my god, the fortune teller is getting frustrated. Well, after this fortune teller, like, helps me and gets all the stuff, I'm gonna have to take this ghost soul. That's just how it's gotta be. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's a game room. Whoa! Who's this guy? Whoa! I don't want to hear him because I want to see what it says. No, not the painting! Fucking Luigi, man. You want some of this? Wait, what? This guy is too similar to, uh... The, the old lady. Ghost. I should have turned off the flashlight. This guy really needs to work on his break. Mm -hmm. 
got him. Hey, it's Boo Hoo. Nope, you ain't going nowhere. Information? Ghosts other than booze will not appear in the direction you're looking. So you'll have to sneak up on them backward, but I bet you knew that already. I did. This guy's so useless. He doesn't even help me. Okay, we got Bula, but no key. Wait, what? If your health goes to zero, you get a game over, Vesper. Careful. Thanks, man. <gasps> Rejection room. This is a horror movie trope. Wait, what? These are the size of these speakers. Yeah, what is this? You can see the ghost's shadow. Luigi's shaking his boots. Grabby just as I saw. No. Mario. Oh yeah. Mario's glove. It's a little sweaty. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, gamer hands. Too much Mario party. There's a ghost in here. Shampoo. Oh no, more information. Wait, what? He told me the exact same thing. So not only is he useless, he's got goldfish memory.
Yeah, Raptor, I, I moved, dude. I moved a month ago. And I I haven't even finished unpacking yet. Yeah, I live in the swamps now. Mm -hmm. There's Toad. Wait, what about the Toad that's outside? Mm -hmm. He said to show him some of Mario's stuff too, right? Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like trying to set up a new streaming room, but it's gonna be a while because of this place is like really new, so like I don't even have a mailbox yet, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah, how do I open this up without? Oh, you just go on the side. <gasps> so do I. Wait, he didn't even listen to me. He just answered anyways. What an asshole. Everyone ignores poor Luigi. I have an idea too. All right, guys, we better stop, man. It's like one in the morning. I need to get some food. <laughs>